Welcome guys to another video of uh, Pure Sim Gamer. Today we are going to do a uh, mid-air uh, destination change. For that uh, example we are going to fly on the Canarian Islands. Um, we will fly from Lanzarote, I said it as the departure, to Gran Canaria, I said it as the arrival. We are going to do a low altitude IFR uh, trip with an ILS approach uh, on Gran Canaria. Now the idea is that mid-air, mid-flight, uh, for whatever reason, we are going to change our destination to Puerto Ventura. So let's fly! So here we are at uh, the airstrip of Lanzarote with our beautiful Aegean Airlines uh, Airbus ready to take off for Gran Canaria, our initial destination. So let's jump into the plane and follow the standard procedure for takeoff. So I disengage the parking brake, put the throttle to uh, flex detent and uh, let us accelerate to a speed of about 150 knots uh, before uh, taking off. Passing 120 knots, passing 140 knots, reaching 150 knots, Audio and lift off and let us start climbing. So to continue the departure procedure, put on the autopilot, retract the flaps, disengage the speed lever, put the throttle in climb detent and pull up the landing gear. So we are on our way to Gran Canaria, as you can see on the VFR map. Now is a good time to change actually our destination plans. Let's say that Gran Canaria is closed down for some reason or that there is a thunderstorm and we want to uh, deviate to another airport. Um, if I zoom on this little uh, flight map, you can see that the island of Puerto Ventura is one that we are going to pass by. So we are going to change our destination to the landing strip of Puerto Ventura, which has the code GCFV. For that, we are going to go to the flight computer and click on init. We have our current from and to uh, codes here, GCRR where we left, to Grand Canaria GCLP. Now we are going to change this. We are going to maintain and tap GCRR same origin slash you can actually see the text come up here and then we are going to enter gcfv for Fuerteventura. ventura g c f v and we can click here on this button uh, to override the current uh, flight plan we have to wait a second for confirmation and here you have it the new flight plan simply click on return and once more on in it and you can see that we have a new destination which is Puerto Ventura. Also the line on uh, the navigation line on the map has changed to Puerto Ventura. But that's not all about it. We also need to uh, choose an approach uh, landing path. For that you have to go to the flight plan. As you can see we have here the flight plan from acceleration destination. On destination we click on destination and then we click on arrival and we choose one of the ILSs. Let's say we choose ILS uh, 1, the first one, so that's this button. Um, now we have chosen uh, instrument landing system uh, path, but uh, we also want to have a standard arrival or approach uh, route. Uh, there's, two, there's the option to choose no star if you click here, but we want to have a standard approach so that our airplane can follow an automatic approach. We have two codes here, the GDV3W and GDV5S. Uh, let us uh, select the first one, GDV3W. I click on it and then we click on insert. And uh, now at this point we have uh, actually a plan, but if you look on the map, that's a bug in Microsoft Flight uh, Simulator, it still wants to send us uh, via a waypoint G Delta V 
on the uh, Grand Canaria. Now, we don't want to do this. So instead, we want to go directly to um, one of the waypoints uh, at our approach. Let's go directly to the arrival waypoint, which is this one, 74 ILS. So we click on direct, 74 ILS, and clicked on direct. And now our road, as you can see, is going straight to um, to uh, the Fuerteventura approach. There's just one more thing we have to do. We also have to let know our air traffic control that uh, we have changed our flight plan. So we tune in to Canary Center on the ATC. We contact Canary Center. Canary Center, Purisum 7787 is at 5,000 feet, climbing 6,000 feet. And they will give us here some options, and the second option is the one we want. Request IFR clearance for instrument flight plan. That means we want the IFR to uh, start giving us orders or instructions for our flight plan that we have entered just a minute ago in the flight computer. So, clicking on that. Canary Center Purisum 7787 would like to change destination to Fuerteventura. And uh, then uh, we have avoided the uh, bug that was a Microsoft Flight Simulator that wanted to send us to a waypoint way off. Uh, that was actually a waypoint of our first uh, flight plan. And uh, by uh, going directly to 74 ILS, uh, we avoid that the airplane would start uh, circling around and look for a waypoint that we are not going to use. Uh, also, if they ask you to climb to 11,000 feet, well, be reasonable. Uh, we are uh, near the airport. We will make our approach uh, quite soon. So uh, let's uh, maintain a 5,000 foot feet or even uh, less. Uh, I'll put uh, the altitude to 4,000 feet managed mode. Uh, so that we are at an approach uh, altitude when we actually uh, are prepared right to, to land. Turn right heading to zero flight line and maintain 17,000 feet Purisum 7787. So they want us to go to 17,000 feet. I can see the airport in front of me. That's not reasonable. So we just ignore that. Um, one thing I uh, read uh, uh, among the lines is they gave us the Q&H. That's actually the barometric pressure uh, at the destination. So we have to enter this the flight computer by clicking on perf here and enter the number they gave 29 decimal 9 or 2 into the QNH so that the airplane knows what altitude we are on when we are going to do an approach. And um, trying to have a look from the outside. So the airport is right here uh, in front of us we are going to fly in a direct straight line to about this uh, point which is 74 ILS where we are going to make a turn right and come in to land uh, in Puerto Ventura let's tune to the approach we may have uh, to ask clearance for landing Acknowledge the assigned approach. Maintain present heading at altitude. Expect ILS Yankee runway 01 approach by attendant transition. Clear to tend up your race of 7787. So we just heard this was the bug. They want us to go via another waypoint, Tenda. But Tenda is not even on the map. So we avoid uh, that our airplane starts circling around looking for Tenda. Uh, we did this by uh, going directly to 74 ILS. 
so soon well not immediately but uh, in a minute or two uh, we expect our plane to do a hard turn to the right banking to the right uh, to start aligning for the uh, standard approach uh, route that we entered uh, into the flight computer. So we can start preparing for landing. Uh, let me start by decelerating the plane and put the flaps position 2. Let's engage the speed brake lever. Um, let's put the air brake to medium. Um, and as we have now a speed of 180, I can even uh, put down the landing gear already. So soon we will do... Um a hard turn to the right. So that we align with the runway which is right there behind us. Let's see if our altitude is reasonable for an approach. We are at 4000 feet. Well, I will uh, decrease it for the moment to 3500. That's clearly not 17,000 feet as they ask. And I will put... Uh, the altitude into ma managed altitude mode now and soon we'll do our turn to the right if everything goes well or maybe the plane will by autopilot turn to the left anyway we have to make a 180 degree turn So we don't need the VFR map anymore. And let's jump on board the plane again and soon we'll see the runway straight ahead of us. Let's even lower the speed even more and retract the flaps to full flaps extraction. And now let's engage the approach button. The airplane is trying to align with the runway. I expect another bank to the left. And there we bank to the left. And as we are quite high, I think I'm going to uh, take it over from the autopilot, disengage the autopilot, and do the landing manually. We have actually quite a steep dive to do now. I have trained quite often in manually landing the plane. But it remains tricky if you have to do a steep dive because Normally the speed will increase. So a lesson to be learned, uh, if you change destination, don't listen to all the instructions. We don't want to go to 70,000 feet. That's a bug. That's a bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator and hopefully they will uh, solve this uh, quite soon. Oh, 
forgot to put the landing slope indicators on, but I work with the puppy lights, so now I'm a bit too low. Throttle to idle and let the plane touch down. Twenty. Retard five. What I like to do is an inverse thrust. So we can brake on the engines. And here we are. We changed our destination to Fuerteventura. Whilst we had an initial an initial plan to go to um, Gran Canaria. I hope this video uh, will help you uh, to do a similar change of destination. Please give me a thumbs up, give me hit that like button. Uh, that's very much appreciated and will help, will help me grow my uh, channel. And uh, if you want to see more videos from me, uh, from Pure Sim Gamer, um, you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and uh, bye bye.